do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, so we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we are going to be watching something a little bit different. We have an adult worker. If you know what that means, an adult worker, she does, she works in the adult industry. And I'm not talking about like the camera one. I'm talking about she does the action on the corner picking up, well, I guess dudes pick her up to do the action. Um... Yeah, but she does that, you know what I'm saying? Apparently, it's like an interview with her asking her a bunch of questions about, like, the whole life. Now, this is kind of a curious situation, a curious topic. I, I, I've never been in that situation, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys have. So, I'm curious to see what goes on in the mind and goes on, like, throughout the whole process of all this. You know what I'm saying? How did this all work? So, we're going to watch this together. I'm very excited. Are you excited? Smash the like button if you are. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You're going to want to be notified. And also, I got one more thing for you, man. You see what's on my head? It looks like a bunch of waves. But guess what's under this? Waves. You know why? Because this is a Jurag. Jurags create waves. This is a proven fact. You know what I'm saying? Jurag.com. You can buy two and get them free. Or you can bundle up, save yourself $50. Dollars. We got all types of ways for you to make money. But without further ado, let's hop right into this. How long How long you been uh, working on Fig? Um, on and off since I was like 17. I'm 22 now. 17 years old, she's been working. I'm not going to pause too much, but okay. She's, she's, she's been working on the streets since 17. Okay, let's. Okay, that's a long time. Okay, and what got you into the life at 17? Um, The money, really. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's pretty much it, just the money. I mean, at 17, what do you need money for? I mean, how you grow up, you know, everyone grows up differently. Sometimes growing up is hard, so... Okay. Uh, I need the money to support myself. What about your parents? What do you know about your mom and dad? Um, I know both my parents. Um, I'm kind of like the black sheep of the family, so I kind of just tend to do like my own thing. So, um, they're in my life. They're very wait. Pause real quick. I just gotta pause it because I'm confused. Is it prostitute? Isn't being a prostitute illegal? Why is she recording herself doing this? That, I'm confused. Like, that's the whole. This is off topic, but. It, why is she recording? Her? This is a, it's illegal, ain't it? Isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Very loving and supportive of everything that I do. But when it comes to this, like, I just leave them out of it because I don't want them to really, um, really have any, like, worries about me and shit. So, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. 22. Mm -hmm. uh, so, did you finish school? I did, yeah. I graduated high school in 2017, and then I went to college. Okay. Uh, what you go to college for? Nursing. Nursing? Did yeah. you finish? I'm in school right now, still. Oh, okay. So, are, mm -hmm. is this just to supplement school or something? Yeah, it it um, pays for school. It pays for you know the bills and stuff, and it pays really good. So. <laughs> what what's uh what are your rates? What are you charging for? Um, it depends. Wait, pause. Who's in the car? Is this like the dude that picked her up to do the do? Is she doing the do with this dude? And he just decided to ask her questions on the way back to the motel before they get freaky dicky. And so, like, my base rate right now, it's like 140. 140 for what? Mm hmm. For everything. All right. So, for like head, mamada, ponocha, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, anal. I don't do that shit. You gotta pay me like a lot to do that shit. Never done it though. So they haven't, they haven't, the stack hasn't been right. No, the number has not been right for that. Like it goes in my ass. Like, no, it's gross. Um, oh, um, them like bear, bear backing shit. I don't never do that shit. It's so gross. Um, coming in my mouth, sucking my toes me sucking their toes. Um, fucking them like with a dildo. Oh man, you got yeah. that one? Fuck. Yeah. I ain't gonna cap. I've done that. But he paid me <laughs> a lot though. Like a lot, a lot. What's a lot? What's a lot to you? He paid me like four bands. Just to fuck them with a dildo. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Somebody paid her four racks for them to get clapped? A dude pulled up and said, yo, can you use this on me? I need $4,000. 
What? <laughs> wait, 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 what? Yeah, but this wasn't out here. Where was that at? In Miami. Oh, so you worked in Miami before? Mm -hmm. I work everywhere. You speak Spanish? Yeah. What's your ethnicity? Um, my parents are from Nicaragua and Panama. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. okay. Um, how, how, how long do you plan to be in the life for? Not long, <laughs> not long at all. Like, I don't want to be 30 and doing this shit, like, no. So I kind of want to, you know, be right um, financially, which like, I'm close, I'm close. Okay. Um... What, what kind of what are your goals like you, you, you are you buying a house are you yes yeah, so right now i already um have an apartment like my folks um he basically um set up myself to where like i have my own place my own car um obviously like everyone wants to get out of this lifestyle this shit is not forever you can't be like 30 and plus up working out here because that shit is embarrassing right. that means like your your goals aren't like like set or you don't have a pimp or your pimp doesn't know like what he's doing what do you mean a pimp doesn't know what he's doing explain that because there's pimps out here that fuck off the money and shit like with drugs and designer this and designer that and they just don't know what they're doing with the money. Like they don't have no goals, no in investments and stuff. You need to like invest your money or else like, where is it gonna go? Some dumb ass pimps. Yeah, really dumb. <laughs> I heard uh, a pimp killed the, one, of the, one of the girls out here. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Nah. Pro pro probably, there, there's like a lot of girls out, out here that are getting killed. Really? Yeah. For over what? Either tricks like kill them. Like I was on where uh, um like near like 83rd. Um there was this trick who um was trying to like stab this girl and then she was like screaming. It was like three in the morning and like everyone like comes out and shit and like he just drives off and then I heard um this story of this girl who was dating this trick he ended up um she ended up stealing from him so um she she didn't know like what car he was in again so he pulled up again and then um he basically like slit her throat and like ran her over I stopped talking after like after the dildo parts. I was I was intrigued. I was listening. You know what I'm saying? It, it sounds like, you know, you you hear about these people that's doing these 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 jobs. You know what I'm saying? It's having these these professions, right? And but she's making it seem like it's like a like a real business. You know what I'm saying? She's talking about yeah, get your money. You got to invest the money. And where it's all, I'm all about investing. Y'all know me. I'm all about investing. Make your money work for you instead of working for your money. But you know what I'm saying? She she also saying like she don't want to do this forever. But it's it's hard, just like a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? Or anybody that makes fast money, drug dealer, hitman. You know what I'm saying? Prostitute. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? You're making fast money. You're used to that fast money. When you go to a regular job, the money ain't that fast. You get bored and you go back to the old lifestyle. Like she in nursing school, nurses make like 60K coming out of coming out of freaking college. And she probably makes 60K from just poking two dudes that like dildos in their butt. You, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like she gonna go back to that instead of working them long hours as a nurse. She just gonna, you know what I'm saying, open up and $6,000 laying in her bank account. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, I feel like it's hard to leave that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's that she all talking about, oh, that's disgusting. Isn't it all disgusting? This is me personally. I'm not judging nobody. Do whatever the heck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not a judger. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you want to do. But ain't it all disgusting? Like, she talking about putting it in the booty is disgusting. She talking about when a dude go crazy in her mouth is disgusting. Like, ain't it all dis ain't it? Isn't it all disgusting? It's random people. You know what I'm saying? Isn't poking somebody in the booty hole with a dildo disgusting? Isn't it? It is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's... But she made it seem like it was normal. She was saying, oh... And she, what I'm also confused about, because she was saying her parents... She's she's cool with her parents, and her parents take care of her and all this stuff. So why she was saying that she had to she had to do this at 17 because she needed money to take care of herself. It sounded like her parents is pretty cool. It, it sounded like her parents are normal. 
I think she just want to do this for fun. Like, that's me personally. I don't I don't know this person, obviously, but this is what I'm getting from the video. She, it's, how she portrayed it, it made it seem like her parents was there. She said, oh, I got a great relationship with my parents and all this bada bada boom. Like, why? Why would you sell the cooter? And, and you know what I'm saying, do all that. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. How would y'all feel if one day your daughter came to you, 17 years old, and said, I want to become a prostitute? What would be the first thing you say to her, if you say anything at all? Would you be like, yes, sis, follow your dreams, period. Do whatever makes you happy. F what everybody else. Or would you be like, yes, slap some sense into her type thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all do in the comments down below. Me personally, not going for it. You want to do that? I don't I don't know you anymore. You, you are disowned. I don't. Who, who's, whose daughter are you? You the streets' daughter. You was born in the pavement. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Let's be realistic. But... That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. And that's really about it. I'm going to see y'all out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly. Hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky. No, I'm never borderline. They choose I because I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.